Hello all and welcome to an episode of Wish, Win or Bin. So what is Wish, Win or Bin? Well, it's where I take a famous gaming character and or franchise, type it into the search engine of Wish.com, have it throw up a load of items to do with said character, in this case Pac-Man, and then have a look for it all and buy a few items and basically open them up on camera and sort of give a bit of a first thoughts review as I am opening it all. Now, for those of you who don't know what Wish.com is, they are synonymous for selling cheap knockoff items at a very low price. So I did search for said cheap knockoff low quality items and buy a few of those to see if they really are as bad as they look and as are priced but at the same time i thought you know what i'm going to try and find a couple of quality items as well so i'm hoping that is a quality item because that would be cool if it is and i'm hoping the t-shirt is a quality item as well that is the most expensive item too so obviously i am hoping that is of quality if it's the priciest as well this is episode two which is pac-man as i've already said and you've seen in title and thumbnail episode one was Sonic the Hedgehog and I done that back in January thought it was too obvious to follow up Sonic the Hedgehog with Mario but don't worry he will have his day he's not going to escape the scrutiny of cheap knockoff items surely so with that yeah let's we're going to open these items but I do have something else do have something else because that episode that was on Sonic the Hedgehog I was meant to get a couple of key rings priced up at one pound each but I did that episode in January and I was keen to get it done. The key rings were advertised as turning up late March. They actually turned up in April, from what I can remember. One day in April. For what the bloody hell are those? Key rings? I've already had the key ring for the Pac-Man episode. What is this? Yep, the key rings turned up. So we're going to have open these up as a bonus item at the end. Now, what was really annoying about it, this is one of the, the items I was really intrigued to open because there's a bit of an experiment to go on with this one. It was whether... Oh, I wanted to say bad listing. It's whether I want to see if they were wrongfully listed because it was one of these where it had the six key rings and the key rings were numbered and you pick out the numbers you want. So I picked the numbers which were Sonic and Knuckles. But the picture next to Sonic was of knuckles but had the right number and the picture next to knuckles was still knuckles so i'm either going to get a sonic and knuckles or i'm going to get two knuckles because they went with the picture that is the experiment here we go there was also one item for pac-man which never turned up unless it's in there with the two carries i don't know how that worked but it was only a sew on patch which i paid a pound for with a pound postage and despite all my complaints i've got nothing back so what i wish you've just robbed two quid off of me so we it's time to start to go through these items i think and see how well pac-man does in this episode but we will open this up at the end as a little bit of a bonus so uh how, how are we going to do this i think we'll have to move this thing to the side as you'll see i have had to remove the wall of mega drive games just because i felt like i needed a bit more room and a bit more depth there's your setup for the joke. Uh, that's what she said. So let's move this out of the way. This will probably be open second last because that item I really am hoping is quality. And the item which is the expensive, which I'm looking forward to the most, is the T-shirt. I will open that one last. And then we have this sort of pile here of smaller items, which if any of these are any good, then it will be a bonus. In fact, one other item I am keen to hopefully it be of quality as well we'll get to that when it comes in fact well, let's just let's just pop those over there and we shall sort of slide them off one by one and start opening them and this one is the key ring now i've got this stuff by the way was ordered in late february and i'm only just getting around to it now so i really have to go into into my purchase history and search back a long way to find out how much i paid for these and luckily enough it was still there so this is the pac-man key ring this cost me £1.90 with £2 postage. So the postage outdone the price of the item, which is actually going to be a common theme running across the items in this video, unfortunately. So can we get it open without, without scissors? We have scissors on standby, he says, somewhere. Yes, there we go. Just put the items on top of it. That wasn't exactly well thought out. So yeah, to save time and uh, struggle, We'll be using the scissors quite a lot. Now, I'm quite hopeful that this, I think this keyring will be of quality. He says it is the keyring. Let's just make sure there's nothing else in there because I say that patch might be in something else. That patch was of low quality and uh, potentially a bad item. But there we go. We've got, we've got the Pac-Man keyring. And before I got out of the package, I'm instantly thinking I'm pretty sure one of those colours is wrong. There was It's pink. Well, I can't remember the four colours of the ghost. That's embarrassing now, isn't it? But... It certainly feels weighty and of quality. I'm going to need those scissors back to open this up again, aren't I? Right, here we go. Get the scissors out. 
that's open. Here we go. So, despite the colours, the colouring's a little bit off, I think. Colours are a little bit... No, we got... What the hell's that? It looks like someone's crisp crumbs all over the M there. Hmm. Okay, so, yeah, there's... We've got the Pac-Man sort of symbol making up the C there. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that. My, I say it's only £1.90. Uh, it doesn't look like it's got anything on the back saying that it's... Uh, like an official Pac-Man product, because it probably isn't, which is why the colourings might be a little bit off, and someone's crisp crumbs are all over the M. So, yeah, this uh, is, is a very much a no-frills keyring, but it's quite representative of Pac-Man at the end of the day, isn't it? So, yeah, okay. No worries. That's okay-ish. We'll put that uh, down there. You stay there. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go, out of the way. Right, that's, uh, that's item number one. Item number two... I actually thought item number one was going to be the necklace. I think this is the necklace. Yeah, this gold necklace. I wonder if it's real with a whopping 95p plus one pound postage. Right, okay. Yeah, these, these bubble mailers are really stuck down well with glue. I, I, I might be cutting through the chain here. Oh, well. I'd probably increase the value of the bloody thing. Right, so what have we got in here? Piece of cardboard, and there it is. And there it is, and that's how small it is. Uh, right, what we've we got? We've got fashion jewellery. Oh, oh, there's a ghost there as well. The ghost wasn't actually pictured. Bonus ghost. It was just what you need in every Pac-Man product, really, isn't it? Buy Pac-Man, get a bonus ghost. Fantastic. Right, scissors are out again. Everything seems to be a challenge. We've cut the top of the cardboard there as well, just a little bit off the top, sir. Right, okay, here we go. One fashion keyring. Uh, key ring. Key ring was the last item, Rob. There we go. And uh, as costume jewellery <laughs> for 95p, what do you expect, really? Chain is, yeah, chain is very cheap feeling. It literally feels like it's going to snap at any moment. Um, there we go. Right, what have we got? Uh, there he is. There they are. Get a focus. And it's 95p. You know what I mean? It's not horrendous for 95p, but at the same, yeah, at the same time, that chain is going to snap at the blink of an eye. It really is. Okay, yeah, not not particularly overwhelmed with that, but at the same, slightly better a little bit than I thought it would be. So yeah, that's, uh, God knows what I'm going to do with that. Just a just, uh, little disclaimer there, just even though I've called this series Wish, Win or Bin, it's because basically it's if it's any good or not. None of these items will be bin. They'll either be, um, I don't know if it's donated to a friend or or uh, up upsetting a friend by giving them the item to them or giving them to charity or doing something with it. A lot of the Sonic stuff that I didn't want to keep actually found new homes. People wanted some of the stuff. Who knows? They might want some of this stuff as well. Is this the wallet? No, I don't think it's this. Oh, this might be the phone case. Oh, this is the cheap crap. This really is. This is going to be the funny item. There were six to choose from, and this one was bloody hilarious from what I can remember. And uh, I'm remembering from a long time ago. If only everything was as good as the quality of glue they use on their packaging, honestly. But, uh, yeah, this is for my current phone. I've still got the same phone. <laughs> I'm laughing already. Look at the... Oh, dear. Look at the eyes on that already. And there we go. Free piece of uh, foam. There we go. Isn't that nice? Free piece of foam. What we all want. A nice piece of foam. Thank you very much. And, uh, yes, it's a rather... I can't really... Oh, it's a shame. You can't really make out the blood. There was blood, yeah, from what I saw, there was blood on the Pac-Man's teeth. Uh, that the bit from my, my uh, camera there is in a really bad place. It's really dark, actually. The colours aren't really popping out. But there's Pac-Man about to eat a sea of the ghosts. But that, is, that is the stuff of nightmares. That is literally, look at his eyes. His eyes are, he's the devil Pac-Man. He really is the devil Pac-Man. Um... Not made from the greatest of stuff as well. I bought it for what is model of phone that I had at the time and still do have, but I don't think I'll be using it. I will be heavily judged for that and uh, for that to barber. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. What is wrong with you, Pac-Man? Let's put you over there and uh, have you stare at me for the rest of the video and scare the shit out of me a little bit. But yeah, yes, again, if only you're as good as the quality of the glue on this thing. Right, this next item, 
I know what this one is as well. This is a wallet. I just realised I forgot the price of that. That phone case was £1.90. It was a choice of six, and I trust me, I chose the worst-looking one possible. And it was £3 postage. The postage was over... Well, it was £1.10 more than the item. Now, this wallet, this wallet was a fiver with £4 postage. But I liked the look of the wallet, and it looked of quality. It's certainly weighty. Don't know if I would, I don't know if I would want to use it, but I think I've heard of this brand before. By our world, I think uh, I've seen them at, at gaming events, and people have wallets in, on their on their tables, and they were this company. Jesus Christ! Again, if all your items are as quality as your packaging, in struggles to get it out, then we'd be on to a winner. So in this one, we've got. A red, a green, a purple, and an orange Pac-Man. And on the key ring, what did we have? Different colours. We've got a blue one on there. Do you know Why am I struggling to remember what the colour of the four ghosts were? I, I know there was a red one. I'm pretty sure there was a purple one. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm going to get ribbed for this one later. So, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm just going to rip that off. That is... That's certainly got some grip to it. It's not actually... I was going to say, I'm worried about the colour of the ghost being wrong because it's not really authentic. But, uh, do you know what? I could just cut this off with the scissors, but I've started to struggle, so I shall carry on. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to make of it. It's, it's, it's not awful. Have we got a, a credit card in here with, some, with a funny name on? Oh, come on. Just a piece of cardboard, I bet. Well, that's boring. Off you go. Oh, we've got Pac-Man written there as well on the inside. And we've got uh, somewhere to put your driving license, your wallet, and, and just go, whoop, there I am. And, oh, we've got, is that supposed to be a cherry? Why is the stem red as well? Shouldn't that be green, the stem? It's, um, oh, yeah, it's very rubbery and it's very grippy. I uh, don't think it's going to fall apart very quickly. But, uh, yeah, I can imagine if you, slide it, you want to slide it, in and out of your pocket quickly it's going to cause a bit of friction there it's going to be hard to just just stick in your pocket you know and uh yeah i don't know what to make of it i don't know if i like it or not it's literally sort of in uh in limbo with me um no do you know what yeah just something not quite right about it not overly impressed or pleased with it never mind never mind so uh the quality items, hopefully. Oh, no. Oh, no. This one. This one potentially could be quite funny. This one. It's hat. Right, what was the hat? The hat was £2.85 and three quid postage, I think. So, yeah, above. We are above. <laughs> we are above cost of item in postage charge. And it's not, it's not a baseball cap, obviously. It is. We, <laughs> how many sets of different colours for ghosts can we get? This one's got a white one on it. Or is it silver? Is it an old one? And he's um, yeah, he's gone grey. And not that uh, their skin has got any fur on it. Don't know why I said that. And right, there we go. Stab. We're in. We're in black hat. And it's that kind of fishing hat sort of thing, as I called it. And uh, ooh, um, it's quite a big one. There's another, another that's what she said joke line for you. Jesus Christ, that is huge. If I put that on, I'm probably not going to be able to see uh the stitching on it is not it's not awful with pac-man looks like pac-man we've got the dots the goats look goats the ghosts look like goats um no the ghosts look a little bit off their eyes are um yeah the, the, the pupils are almost bigger than their eyes which is weird thing because then their eyes are just black huge black dots but um yeah i mean i have to try it off camera but uh, let's see how well it fits on my head Oh, who'd have thought it? It doesn't actually... I thought it would literally just sink onto my head, but it's it's actually almost a perfect fit, although my ears don't go in it and they end up sort of uh, making them stick out a little bit. But, uh, yeah, it's not the highest quality of cotton, but then again, I'm buying a hat for £2.85 that's uh, been imported from China. But uh, it almost feels a bit weird as well. I feel like... I mean, I'm not, not no expert on a traditional fishing hat, but... Something doesn't seem feel right about him. It looks more like a a um, UFO made out of uh, material. And again, so uh, 
what how many other combinations of, of ghost colors can we get i don't think i've got can i put this anywhere on view and without uh, because uh i miss my mega drive more playing white wars a bit boring so uh, there we go we'll put the phone phone case there because we all need to be haunted by that continuously and that is what well, we five items down so we're down to the two items one that I hope is quality and the t-shirt I think I've seen sold in this country I think the t-shirt should be should be a safe one now this soft toy was three pound and the postage was four pound but it looked really nice so I kind of spent up a little bit on this one so what worries me is in it's 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 in a bin bag so I hope that's not a sign of what we're going to get in here but I mean as soon as you saw it and you see this bit here you knew it was a it was it was a pac-man soft toy so here we go i'm liking the bright yellow i've got to be honest with you oh dear um it's all right he says on first glance is what i was thinking so we've got we've got one of those things so we can uh we can stick it on the inside of our car and hang it out the back window it's it's not horrendous it's um mm, oh right yeah a higher quality manufacturer would have probably made it so you wouldn't have seen loads of seam lines in it which means from the back you're thinking it's just a beach ball with the panels not different colors um his eyes are quite representative i quite like those eyes they look all right yeah front on like that it's just it's a bit ruined here it looks more like zippy's head than pac-man i think he literally if you put a zip on here you could sell it as an off-colour zippy, because I think it was a bit more orange than yellow. So this item was what I was hoping was quality, and it's not. It's it's bloody awful, to be honest with you. I'm more impressed with the wallet than I am with this. That is a real shame. Uh, of course, the picture made it look a hell of a lot better. But there we go. Will it Will it stand up with you? No, don't be silly. Oh, cool. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like overly happy Pac-Man, who's mouth is wider than it should be is being chased by evil pac-man with the devil's eyes over there so yeah that's that's uh i was hoping it'd be of reasonable quality at least to the point of i wouldn't mind having it on display but no no i'm not liking that at all There's, oh jesus christ go away beach ball pac-man go over there the light's making your head look white Right, uh, just can't even prop him up. Just, just let him roll off the, off, off out of you and off the table. No, nope, now you want to say it's here. Threaten you with that, and now you want to stay. So, t-shirt time, and the t-shirt. If you ask me, is the quality item. It's the expensive item. It should be okay. It was eight pounds with four pounds delivery, so it's twelve pounds, which is, you know, if it's a nice t-shirt, you can expect to pay that in some of the stores in this country. I'm sure. So, right. No messing about. Come on, T-shirt. As all the stuff behind falls over. Oh, do you know what? That's rubbish. Just go over there. I don't care for now. I love it. Just, just do it. He's still there. He's still having a look. Right. Quality time. Quality time. Come on. Don't let me down. Thought it was a darker navy than that, but that's not an issue. It's still a nice colour. Uh, I'm going to have to get stabby, stabby scissors out again. There we go. That should just fall apart now. And it's yeah, it's meant to have that distressed look on it, so I'm not worried about that. It was pictured like that. And uh, who's who's made it? Gildan Soft Style Ring Spun. Whatever ever the hell ring spun means. It's not really going to fit on view that well on 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 camera, I'm afraid. But uh, let's hope they've got the right size. It should be a medium, he says. I'm sure it's there somewhere. Made in Bangladesh. Me, ah, M adult. M adult. That's me. I'm an M adult. So there we go. It's a distressed look Pac Man t shirt in navy. It's very distressed, to be honest with you. I don't really realise it was that dull. But, um, yeah, I could, I could wear that in public and not be embarrassed. Is it a, an official licensed product? I'm going to question that a little bit. But there we go. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> For the money, oh dear, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure on it. It does look a little, a bit of a, not the best transfer ever. The t-shirt I bought in the Sonic one was lovely. Nice design, nice print. I mean, I could, do you know what? I kind of, it's a nice thick material t-shirt, to be honest with you. It's just that I know I was buying a distressed look Pac-Man t-shirt, but it kind of looks distressed and faded, if that makes any sense. 
So, mm, I don't know. I'll have to, I have to put it on and uh, and look in a mirror and perhaps I, I may warm to it a little bit. But uh, that goes down as okay. There you go, he's trying to get uh, Do you know what? Uh, a lot of, some of these items have been like a little bit meh. Not been quite, you know, oh my God, throw away. But do you know what? Actually, one of the... This thing is bloody awful. Right, I'll tell you what. Before we start talking more about these Pac-Man items, which I've spoken a load about, let's see. I mean, I doubt the sell patch is in here. Right, badly listed item, or accidentally listed item. So did, have I got a Sonic keyring and a Knuckles keyring? Have I got two Knuckles keyrings? Because that was what the picture next to the number for Sonic was. It was exactly the same picture that was next to the Knuckles number, which was correct. Oh, why am I trying to open it up like that? We know they're... The glue that they use is where they spend their money. Nowhere else. So delay your disappointment, I suppose, of you opening. There we go. We got Sonic. So the numbering was correct. <laughs> you know, if I'd pulled out Sonic, I went, how the flipping hell did that work? But there's nothing else in there. So we didn't... Uh, uh, my my sew on patch is still missing, which apparently was delivered in March, ages ago, according to uh, my uh, updates. Uh, do double sided. Well, you didn't. Do you know what? You didn't wimp out on quite. You, it's, it's ironic that the Sonic stuff may be saving what I got from <laughs> Wish in terms of the Pac Man items. But uh, yeah, I know it was a rubber keyring and it wasn't metal or anything like that. And uh, it, yeah, that is actually really nice. And double sided as well. Because normally, you know, you get Sonic on site and just flat back on, on the back. Don't we, Pac Man keyring? Uh, as never say it's an official licensed product, but I did not expect that for the money. Let's get the knuckles one out. Oh, we used the look at that. Going to the pack without scissors the first time. It's, look at that fucking lip. So yeah, and knuckles is knuckles, and that is a nice keyring, even though for some reason he's his eyes are purple. Why his eyes purple? I don't ever remember seeing his eyes purple before. But uh, minor imperfection. But again, on both sides. Yeah, you know what? It is Knuckles. I, yeah. Thank you, Sonic Products, for saving the Pac-Man episode. Who'd have bloody thought it? They're all right, they are. I may actually use one of those with only a moderate level of embarrassment. That is, that is something else. So the Pac-Man stuff... Am I going to be keeping slash using any of it? Obviously, I'm not going to be using the necklace. I am not a four-year-old girl. But that's just costume jewellery. Do you know what? I, I have a niece. Uh, I might just give that to her. She might think the uh, the, the ghost and the, the, the creature are cool because she ain't going to know what Pac-Man is. Not at that age. So, yeah, she's into jewellery. Into costume jewellery, so we'll give that to her. Uh, the key ring is, uh, yeah, it's passable. Just throw that on, on my uh, on my key rings. On my keyrings, on my keys with the other keyrings, and it's it's passable. It's not an official licensed product, but it's not bad. It's not awful. This I will even though it's for my for my. <laughs> I might put it on for a joke. I might use it for a day for a laugh and show people and go. Do you like my phone cover? And watch them actually freak out at the picture and then be scarred mentally for life at seeing Pac-Man with blood from his lips chasing a horde of what can only be described as a thousand ghosts in an array of colours. There we go. We've got words that time when we spoke about a large quantity of ghosts in colours. This hat is, yeah, it's just it's not a nice material, to be honest with you. The stitching on Pac-Man is the highlight of that because they got that right and the darts, but the ghosts are a little bit weird, so that item is uh, not going to be kept, but it was never going to be used by me. I don't use that style of hat. I just saw I saw the hat, and I saw it was £2.85, and I thought, you know, we've got to get one of those and have a look at it. So, yes, uh, my um, material UFO is not brilliant. The wallet I was hoping... I actually need a new wallet. Mine is knackered to hell. It's just uh, full of full of old receipts of um, has made it bulge and basically break. I was hoping that this might be all right, and I may consider using it, but... Uh, it's uh, yeah i don't know why i don't like do you know i might actually use it more as a display piece uh maybe this side no no we'll have the pac-man side and just sort of leave it on top of uh, my gaming shelves like that facing outwards and not use it this was the major disappointment because uh a pac-man plushie would have looked so cool but like i said it's just zippy's head really 
um, and he's not well, and he's kind of a bit yellow. Maybe his liver's not functioning properly. And he looked, yeah, he just looks like he was uh, carved out of a beach ball that was uh, made out of uh, material and stuffed. It really does that. Yeah, I was going to say that. It's very low. But then again, it's Wish.com. You pay cheap, you get cheap, you get low quality. You may get something which you might mildly enjoy. So we might throw that at a charity shop or and uh, gift it to... I've got one person in mind. I do like them, honestly. So there we go. That was episode two of Wish We're Not Been. I had this stuff for ages. And it's just... You know, the stuff may be crap, but I still have had fun opening it and just looking at it. It is, yeah, the stuff is rubbish in this episode. It really has. It really has been saved by these key rings. So what franchise to pick next? I did say gaming franchise, gaming characters, but I might be looking at doing other franchises which weren't necessarily to do with just games. So something like Turtles, but uh, don't worry, I've got a game franchise that I would like to have a look at. You know, some of my favourite fighting games. I suppose the, the fat Italian little plumber, he's going to get his day. The one that wears red, you know him. What's his name? Yeah, that Mario fella, he may get an episode as well. But yeah, I might do other franchises sort of within the film world like uh, Transformers and Turtles and, and things like that that I like as well. So it might not just be gaming products or gaming characters and or franchises. But uh, this was the Pac-Man episode of Wish Win Up In. This was episode number two. And yeah, so I have had fun opening this stuff. I hope you've had fun watching me open this stuff. And I hope I haven't left you having nightmares, being unable to sleep by looking at this. So if you have enjoyed this video and, and my misery in some cases, please, a thumbs up would be awesome. Why not, see if you've enjoyed this video, tell your friends and subscribe for more. If you are new, there we go. That just leaves me to say, finally, thank you very, very much for watching. And as always, please do... Take care.